Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Team of the season feels like it's starting to slow down. We started with a great Premier League, kind of went down the Bundesliga, and now League One. Well, we know how this last weekend went on this game and the current state of the game and everybody's feelings towards it. But we're headed for the next League of Team of the Season this Friday, and the league itself is literally sponsored by EA. So, La Liga Tots to the moon? We'll talk about that today because, guys, this seems like a non-negotiable week that has to deliver, and it's a week that a lot of us would be really excited for as well. You think about all the players in La Liga and even some of the women in Liga F. This could be just as good as Premier League just because of the players that will be in packs. Now, for the rest of the content, we don't know, but I want to talk a little bit more about why La Liga team of the season kind of has to deliver on this game in this upcoming week so we're going to take a look at that a couple of leaks and of course the guaranteed league one team of the season pack coming today if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new let's go over yesterday's content which guys it's it's pretty slow in this game right now no cap all we had yesterday were two sbcs one of which we knew was coming we just didn't know that it was going to have a rating I guess guarantee this time around the 90 plus weekly team of the season upgrade SBC only one squad to get done pretty easy sorry not one squad to get done two squad 84 and 86 was the tots upgrade this week and here's the first thing that I saw about this SBC when I saw the pack code updated and added yesterday was the fact that it was 90 plus if you think about all the team of the season cards that we have in this game right now how many of them are actually below 90 rated I think there's literally like seven, like seven or eight cards are not included in this pack. So yeah, they made as, they might as well just have called it the regular TOTS upgrade pack, just including all of the currently released team of the season cards. But nonetheless, these cards that came out of this pack yesterday weren't always that great. But for 70,000 coins, and of course, an 84 and 86 squad, very craftable, right? With everything that is out, it is a must do. It is a must try. Now, the interesting thing about this pack was right away, it was actually glitched where when you went to the store and open it, it would tell you that you couldn't preview the pack. Like, I don't know what was wrong with the coding for like the first 45 minutes. It literally would not let you open the pack and see the animation. Once you would open the pack, it would all of a sudden like take you back to the store and you'd have to open another pack and the card would just be sitting in your unassigned. So no animation. And that was just there. Uh, that was kind of uh, weird, I guess, funky. We opened some on the second channel, if you want to check that video out. Some of them were pretty good. We packed some bangers. They were definitely better than the TOTS guaranteed cards that came out of the objective packs, right? A lot of us yesterday were able to get the daily play done. Um, or, ooh, I just got the red foot champs Evo for 35 champs wins. Cold. Um, yeah, sure. We'll call that cold. Um, a lot of people were getting their daily play and the daily login TOTS guaranteeds yesterday. And these TOTS guaranteed packs were not good. Those were very, very bad. The 90 pluses were definitely better. So if you haven't given that a shot, I think it's worth doing. Um, most people, it felt like they were packing, you know, moments cards and cards from the older team of the season. It wasn't necessarily a lot of the brand new ones, although we did see a decent amount of Donner Rumas. So that was kind of that pack yesterday. It was just, you know, it's kind of the repetition that we see every single week. It's nice that it's a little bit different. There's a rating guarantee. Maybe next week it's like 91 plus, like a 90. 91 plus tots pack if that's the way we're going to start going with this ea would be a w because that would take out a lot of players and even if it's a little bit more expensive that would give you such a better chance at a quality pull if they start upping that rating overall just a little bit of course there's still going to be a lot of fodder but there's a lot of 90 rated tots cards so that's what we'll cross our fingers for for next week but that 90 plus is worth a try this is the other sbc that we had yesterday tiny tiny i'm not exactly sure how to say her name but the card stats don't look that good but if you notice the sbc is 74 percent upvoted on footbin that is because this sbc is the cheapest 94 rated card on the game throw in a team of the season or team of the week card that you get as a duplicate and some 81s twos and threes and bang you have yourself a 94 rated squad that goes boom straight into the exchange for 51 other players or goes into a high rated SBC of anything that you might be crafting at the moment. So this is actually a WSBC. The stats itself on the card don't look that terrible either. Incisive and Tiki Taka plus, but most people are looking at this as a very, very easy craft to, of course, 
put into another SBC. Now, speaking of SBCs, right, with the 90 plus that came out yesterday, fodder moved upward just a little bit, specifically on the 85s. All of these were around 3,000 coins. Looks like they're down maybe 100, 200 coins right now, but you can see 2.5K for Di Lorenzo. He was all the way up at 3.1 yesterday, a couple hours after the content drop. I think that was kind of the biggest movement on the market. It was those 85s, 86s a little bit as well. Um, the other higher tier part of the fodder market is just kind of chilling, right? And those prices are up because of the icon player pick and the crafting and SBCs that people are doing right now, mostly because of the icon player pick, but 84s didn't move. And that actually worries me a little bit because will 84s move today even with the League One guaranteed coming out? I want to talk about that a little bit later on in the video, but that's kind of a fodder update. And uh, today's going to be the day to sell fodder, guys. We'll talk about that a little bit later on as well. Now, you might see the Tots counter at 108. Nate, did you pack any good team of the seasons? Again, the answer to that is no. One thing I'm noticing, though, is that this Mbappe has a skill issue of getting hurt all the time. Like, I'm applying healing cards to this guy like crazy um he is still cooking he is very very good we just finished off 11 wins with this squad and uh we will be opening the rewards today on stream so we hit the 11 wins actually ended up being pretty pretty efficient 11 and 7 and uh yeah we will open those rewards today on stream and hopefully we can get some uh, unintended rewards if you know what i mean from those so yeah the tots counter is up but mostly just fodder yesterday guys from a lot of the packs that we opened I mean, I want to grind some more packs today for sure. I want to grind some more premiums just to see, like, you know, what if we hit a Marquinhos? What if we hit a Taram sort of thing? Um, or, you know, Cherokee or whoever, right? Um, but I think I might slow down a little bit, thinking of what is coming next with Team of the Season. That's the big news that I want to talk about today and kind of, like, shift our mindset forward because if any of you guys are like me right now, League One Tots, it could be over, right? I'm kind of, besides the guaranteed pack coming today, I'm kind of just done with League One Tots. Let's get this whole Mbappe, Dembele, Red fiasco behind us. Let's move forward with all the changes in mind. We're not forgetting about all the changes that we want to see made to this game, right? The speaking out against FC points. We're not you know, pushing past that, but I'm ready to turn the page and actually get some good content back on this game. And guys, that's why I want to talk about La Liga Tots today because it's only Wednesday, right? We have a couple days. We're going to get leaks though very soon and the conversations and the thoughts are going to start to flow. That's why I want to bring it up today. This might be the best week of team of the season, guys, maybe even better than Prem. And I'm not just hyping it up to try to hype it up. I think EA might be contractually obligated to make it a good week of team of the season and to start off with that i want to take a look at the leaks because there's three players right now that have been leaked the first of which we talked about yesterday briefly jude bellingham no surprise here right it's kind of like jude is probably going to be the highest rated and most expensive card in this la liga team of the season i would be shocked if there is anybody rated higher maybe Vinny is also a 97 with him they're both going to be high rated they're both going to be juiced this card i mean honestly the question for me is which card is going to be 10 mil plus because we've had except for bundesliga a 10 mil plus card every single week like harry kane was really expensive so was from pong we had mbappe we had holland um for the for other two weeks of team of the season so how much is this jude gonna be he's gonna be crazy expensive now the two latest leaks are hansen graham hansen from liga f again part of the hype with la liga team of the season is the women's league brings literally besides d1 arkema i would say the best cards in this game hansen's gonna be absolutely incredible so many people had this card with the trailblazers earlier on in the year maybe an inform of course the team of the year card was cracked this one might be multiple of millions of coins too, like five mil plus. It's very possible, right? Six, seven mil, even maybe even 10 for Hansen would be possible as well. Uh, again, these are all predicted stats. These are just big players that are going to get into this promo team that we kind of expected to get in anyway. And the latest leak is none other than the man himself, Vinicius Jr. A lot of people, man, I cannot tell you how many Vinicius Jr. player of the month cards that I still come up against in this game. He is everywhere. That 91 rated, I think it is, player of the month or 90 rated card that he's got. That guy is everywhere, man. I think people just love a good Vinny Jr. in this game. And if this is going to be a card that is anywhere near 
obtainable, which I feel like it's going to be expensive and probably difficult to get. He's going to be absolutely cracked, right? And there's a lot of hype for this card, of course, with the UCL final and all of Madrid's um, accomplishments recently, winning the league. Real Madrid is going to be represented well on this team in the season, 100%. So those are, all, those are the only leaks that are happening right now. Now, when we talk about La Liga Tots and Liga F Tots as a whole, last year, do I need to remind you about La Liga team in the season? This league was absolutely cracked. This came as the third week, kind of like right now we're in League One. It was this time last year that we had La Liga, and it was insane. This Kunde was absolutely freaking nuts. I remember packing this card. He was in my team for ages, even as a right back. This Modric was insane. The Lewandowski was fantastic. Benzema, Griezmann, um, Ter Stegen was everywhere, right? This Llorente moments card. Who remembers him? We had Valverde, who was cracked. We even had this Fakir, who was a budget card, but was really, really good. A lot of league team of the season last year went insane. The SBCs were pretty decent as well. And that's just one of the reasons to add to come to the table and think about why La Liga team of the season could be good this year as well. Think about it from like a calendar perspective, right? We are midway through team of the season. We started hot with Prem. We've kind of taken two steps down after that. What other would be a greater way to keep this team of the season hype rolling to refresh a little bit than to bring out a La Liga team of the season and kind of bring the hype back up? Maybe it dips a little bit with Serie A next week, and then you have ultimate team of the season to end things off, which is always hype because you have the biggest and best and the most team of the season cards and packs at one time. So that's one thing we got to point out, right? But also, guys, let's not look past the real world business kind of aspect of this because of course EA is a company, right? And they want to make people happy. They want to, they have a lot of people with a lot of money and a lot of places to make happy, right? And La Liga, once again, if you did not know this, is sponsored by EA Sports. Literally, La Liga is La, La Liga EA Sports, like League One Uber Eats. It's La Liga EA Sports. I think with this sponsorship and their name being plastered all over the La Liga all of this entire last season, I, like, I think EA are going to pay special attention to this La Liga, guys. They're going to want to make it good because the IRL League affiliation, they don't want somebody to think about, oh, La Liga Tots, that was not good. La Liga EA Sports Tots, that was poor, right? And after what's gone on in these past couple of days, I think that they're going to want to turn the stone over and kind of try to get us to forget about what has happened in the last weekend with the Red Pick fiasco and everything that's been going on in the community. They're going to want to release some good content to try to kind of push that and squelch that, right? That negative feedback and all of that kind of well, hate, of course, um, but kind of the negative feedback that they were getting as well and just like the negative press around their game. I think they'll want to try to squelch that out. So that is why I think La Liga team of the season is going to slap. And we're just opening a random pack here and we're getting a blue. German striker, that's pop, double walkout. Welcome to Pack Luck on the video. Uh, EA Sports, it is Cadioglu. And that is a duplicate, but that is blue. Number 109. Thank you for interrupting this video, EA, with a... Actually, a halfway decent 83-10. Well, just two walkouts in 85. Okay, I digress. Back to the point about La Liga team of the season. I'm still thinking that La Liga team of the season is going to be... It's either it's going to be tied with Prem, in my opinion. It's going to be Prem, La Liga, boom, boom, as the best team of the season leagues. But what it's going to come down to are the SBCs. You know that the player leagues are going to deliver, right? And that's why I want you guys to be watching out for these player leagues today because it's got to be soon. And especially since this is... La Liga week, right? They didn't even do a loading screen last week for um, League One. I would be shocked if they didn't advertise La Liga team of the season this week. Maybe they're just so behind and with all the mistakes and maybe even some of the compensation stuff that they're having to do right now. Maybe they're not and just behind in sort of that way and they're not going to do a loading screen, but I'd be surprised if they didn't because this is their own league that they are sponsoring. They're like con contractually obligated to make this team of the season good. So, I will stop yapping, but this is what I want to say. Get ready for La Liga because it's hyped not only for the players that are actually going to be in it because it's La Liga, it's Madrid, it's Barcelona, Girona, for goodness sake, for the year that they had this year. It's a start off at least, right? They deserve a little bit of credit from that. There should be some Girona cards here inside of the team of the season as well. I'm looking forward to that. I think I'm looking forward to La Liga team of the season a lot more now, especially after this last week and thinking about the potential that it could have. So, have. so watch out for leaks. Hopefully some of that news starts flying today. Now, speaking of today, we got to talk about what Wednesdays bring always, right? Those guaranteed 
team of the season packs from the main league. Now, you don't need me to tell you who's going to be the most commonly packed card from this SBC today, do you, right? Because if I need to, uh, I'll say it, but I don't think we're going to want to say his name after today when we see him so much. But last week, the Bundesliga Tots guaranteed SBC was an 85 and an 86 rated squad. It was a lot cheaper than the Premier League one. Uh, La Liga, it's got to be around the same price, right? It's got to be pretty cheap. Maybe even today they go one squad, but I doubt it. It's probably going to be the same requirements, 85, 86 rated squad. If you have your fodder invested, right, from a market investing perspective, this is probably the day where you're going to want to cash it out because every single day with or every single week on Thursdays with the rivals rewards, we see those tradable rewards open and we see fodder dropping. Now, I think tomorrow that's a whole other conversation that we need to have because there's going to be an investment potential with that drop off. But after content today, I see a spike on 84, 85s, probably not 84s. I was almost going to say 84s, but they didn't move at all yesterday. So I would say if you have 84s, lazy list them up today for like maybe 1.5 to 1.7. 7k you might collect a few sales and then um you could get out of those cards with just you know that's still making coins with lazy sales and stuff like that but it wasn't as good as like the 85s and 6s but i would try to sell this stuff today right around the content time after the sbc comes out when everybody is buying pro tip when you're listing fodder we talk about this a lot but listed an hour before content time or like you know 50 minutes before that way when your cards are expiring a lot of lazy sales could happen as people are logging on and that's kind of like the peak time to go and do an sbc like the league one tots guaranteed sbc would be coming out today and of course everybody would go and be going and doing it so i think 80 honestly all fodder today is going to be a good sell 84s all the way up to probably like 90s and 91s as well I would even imagine that maybe team of the season cards maybe dip a little bit today. I don't know if they're going to dip that much because they're going to be required inside of the League One Guaranteed. But we all have TOTS cards now. EA is giving out like three of those per week from the Guaranteed packs from the Cup and from the Daily Login and the Daily Play. So like we're not really short on Team of the Season cards. Most of us, I would believe, it's pretty easy to get them. So I don't think that those are going to uh, go up too much. I would probably sell those too because those might drop overall with the prices of the fodder. Now, another SBC that's going to be refreshing today that's actually worth pointing out is the 81 plus tradable team of the week. We're on this refresh schedule now, right? Wednesdays were the days that team of the week cards would always come out on this game earlier in the year. Since we don't actually have a brand new team of the week every week anymore, we've got the team of the week tradable pack that comes back. And this is an 85 rated squad and it's refreshing today. So tradable supply of team of the weeks will be hitting the market. If you still have some of those, which I believe they were actually investable, honestly, last week. We kind of stopped looking at them, but they went from like 22K. I think they were as low as 22K, and they went up to kind of right now like 24, 25. So these could be in the low 20, 21,000 coin range again today. I would imagine they drop, and I would imagine that I would not be investing in these um, right now, but that's just something to kind of keep an eye on. Those could drop a little bit today, as well as that SBC is refreshing. Other than that, guys, I'm not expecting much else. I'm hoping for an evolution because, again, it's like they drop the Evos on the Fridays and the Saturdays, um, and then it just kind of, I don't know, it like slows down. I don't know. I mean, we had Tots Midfielder Plus, which was decent. Are there any Evos that are expiring today that I've gotten here? Uh, two days, two days, two days. Okay, so nothing that I've been doing expires, um, and there's nothing that is expiring for like the next thing to expire is the Prem Tots Evo, which, I mean, everybody seems to be doing Martinelli. And I see this Martinelli or this Gakpo. I actually see them a lot in Foot Champs. They're nice cards for sure, but uh, it's crazy that a gold getting upgraded that much in, through some of those, and a lot of people were doing that. Um, but I think just also the testament to how hype Prem Tots was. I think we need another Evo today, guys. And we mentioned the center backs moving on the market. There's no real leaks around that yet. So we'll be keeping an eye on that. There could be something going on there. But Wednesday, hopefully an Evo day today. And the last thing we have to talk about is related to the market because I know a lot of you guys have been wanting to invest in League One TOTS cards as they would hopefully be going up today. Now, I have not bought many. I have one Marquinhos that I bought on stream for 809. I bought a Cherokee like an hour or two ago for 509. And I picked up a Jonathan David at 751. And I have another Jonathan David at 743,000 coins that I got on bid. I didn't like a lot of the prices for most of these cards, guys, because a lot of them have already started to go up, right? Like last night, I bought Karchawi for 135, right? I sold her for 146, and right now she's back to like 148. I probably could have held on, but a lot of these cards are just kind of 
slowly floating upwards. And I don't think genuinely it's because a lot of people want to use them. I still feel like this League One team of the season is lacking a bit of hype. I think it's kind of the rarity, guys. Like these cards do seem very rare on the market. A lot of them do, like the Cherokee for sure, the Jonathan David. I look at this Cherokee graph and I'm like, wait, yesterday he literally went from 500,000 coins, 490, all the way to 560. If he goes to 560 again today, I bought for 509. I'm in good money. I think a card like this could go up. I think there will be people that want to buy these, but will it only be investors? Is there true demand for these League One Tots cards? And with La Liga incoming, I'm a little skeptical on that. So I am invested and I am involved because it has been a trend that has been happening every single week. But is this the week where it won't actually happen? That's one thing that I'm kind of I'm kind of leaning towards that way that prices on these cards may not move that much today and it kind of all depends on the leagues for La Liga and how the market reacts to those I don't expect there to be a bunch of panic selling unless they're going to add in something crazy new for La Liga that we're not expecting which this point of team of the season I don't know what they would add that would cause a lot of panic except for maybe just a lot of cards that were going to be leaked but even then a lot of the cards that will be leaked for la liga would probably be ones that we're expecting anyway so i am going to hold on to the cards that i invested in because i do think a card like this jonathan david even with a lock is sbc that came out like right now i'm even making coins right because he's like 790 i got it for a low enough price we got in at a really really good time after content today is maybe the time where you will see these go up a little bit. It's just going to depend per card. Um, I know people are investing in Todibo. I know people are investing in Marquinhos for sure. The, the Vitinha, the Zaire Emery. I think if I was going to buy any of these and if I wanted to buy one for my team, I would. I would pick it up, but I also wouldn't hold it for long. Speaking of, uh, this is Zakaria. Just got a price range update. He was down, uh, of course, 70K was not selling. Went all the way down to like 30, 31,000 coins. And I think he is starting to go back up right now. That was uh, actually a pretty decent buy because it looks like he's going to go up like 5,000 coins from his low point. Maybe he goes back to like 40K. This looks like a really, really cracked card. He could drop um, tomorrow with like division rivals rewards. But I think if you can get this in the low 30s, I think it's like little to no risk for this cracked of a card. Uh, the links aren't the best, but and also like long throw in plus like whatever. But he's got to anticipate plus. And slide tackle, and it's got other good stats on the card for 30k. This card looks pretty nuts. Every single defending play style with two in the plus. So that looks like a really, really good CDM for a budget team. And he is uh, okay. He's not 90 rated. He's 91. So he does fit. Uh, does not fit the cup. But that was a card that had a price range update yesterday. This is crazy though. We're going on now. Um, how many days now? We're going on five days, four days, five days. Yeah, with Madri still extinct. I don't know how rare this card is. I've heard multiple people have packed her. I don't know how often she pops up here as people are listing her from packing her, but it's crazy that she is still not upgraded. Again, price ranges. So frustrating. I do not understand how it works. I do not understand uh, why some cards stay extinct and why EA allows some cards to get upgraded really, really fast. So that's kind of the current state of these cards in the market. If you wanted more less risk type plays, go out of packs. You guys know what to do. Go out of packs on those. Today is the final day for playing your rivals games, right? To get the rewards. So I think there will be some demand today, but I really think it's going to be a quiet day on this game. And the hype is really now just starting to build a little bit and towards La Liga. And we'll be hoping to get some big news about La Liga team of the season and maybe some leaked cards today on this game. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, subscribe to this channel if you're new, and make sure to drop it on the second channel and check out those 90 plus picks from yesterday and stop by the stream today as we hope to pack more than just Donnarumma. It's been Nathan Wood Accountant, guys. See you there today. Peace. Out.